Hi there. Uh, this is Matt Allen with the Aviation RC New Podcast. If you are one of the many who purchased one of these little, let's see if we can't get this in the shot, purchased one of these little um, easy packs from Flight Test. Uh, this is just the board. I've attached two different motors and I've actually bought separate motors and extended them because these are set for mini quads. But um, if you want to do FPV, there is a quick and easy way to do that. Uh, if you go and buy an all-in-one system, much like Flight Test has here, you get the, the CADEX FPV. It's the Ant all-in-one system. This is what it looks like. Let's see here now. In an effort to see if this will run on LED, the LED channel, because that's thing that'd be fun to turn on and off as you need. However, it does not look like you can turn it on or off. So this segment is not here. Um, but anyway, you will get basically this little connector that um, it's a JST connector that goes into a traditional receiver. <clears throat> uh, and all it is is power and ground and they need 3.3 volts or higher. Uh, the battery on the system is 3.7 volts and it goes into the system. Now what we're going to do is piggyback on the in and also create an out at that same point. And I'll show you in just a second how to do that. So I'm going to set this, this board up with FPV. All right, let's get to it. What you're going to need is a servo extender. It, it's real simple. You're going to take this, we're going to cut one of these small, short extenders. You don't need much. We're going to cut it in half. There we go. We're going to put this side that looks like what you'd put on your transmitter somewhere else. We don't need it. What we're going to do is we're going to take this here. We're going to strip away the white one. We don't need the data. Now, because this uh, joiner sleeve is on it, you won't be able to get to it. Real simple. Just... Cut that there. Now you don't have to worry about it. Now you've got your two power leads. <clears throat> so we're going to separate these. Because you're just going to need to take the ends off here. You're going to have to tin them. Get them ready to solder. So do that right now. I'm going to use a little bit of this uh, poster tack stuff. It helps keep everything out of the way. All right. Looks like my uh, looks like we're all set. Tin one, tin two, or the board is already tinned. Okay, that's tinned and ready. Let's pull this out of the way. And we'll close in on the board. Now, I had this originally glued, but I'm going to unglue it. Now, you can see our power leads are coming in from here and here. And those are 3.7 uh, volts. We're going to solder our newly tinned. I'm going to send it out in the same direction because that way it's away from the board and you can change it however you want. Basically going to tin that there. That's it. That's the one. <clears throat> Stuff to do. I'm not used to doing this ever. There we go. Just making sure that none of these are bridged. They look like they are clean and clear. 
Good. <clears throat> now we can put it back in place. I have a bunch of glue. Just need a little bit. Push these on. Okay. Okay, you can see that we have our battery here. That's uh, what we do is we charge that up. We plug that in. And then we have our FPV board. And let me pause. I'm going to show you what we're doing here. Okay. So now we've got we've got our battery, we've got our board, and then directly connected to the battery lines are an output to the camera, which will power it up and keep it powered. And it is not connected after the switch. That's why I tried the LED socket up here. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Uh, they don't have enough volts. So um, we're going to plug this in, get this working. You'll see that it'll work right is fine here. Okay. So we got everything plugged up. Camera booted up and showed everything was good. And you can see that everything is good. All right. That's it. Real simple. Solder this plug onto the back where the wires come in. Make sure red is going to red and black to black. Then you run the power cable out to your FPV all in one. And you're ready to go. And that's it. Simple as that. And now it's these are lightweight. You can run these on almost any one of these easy power-ups and have FPV fun. All right. Talk to you later. This is Foamy DM. Um, I'm going to try out this FPV system in the daylight on the, I'll call it the Orbiter.
Well, I hope that was enough to be able to see uh, what it can do.